my name is Ashley Gamble and my shop name is Bagsy Blue Co. Um, and you can find me at bagsybluco.etsy.com. Tonight I'm teaching participants how to make fabric flowers, the style that I make them most often, which is the ranunculus style flower. These are ranunculus style buds, these ones right here, and they are just these little flowers that are kind of closed in, so they're closed around the center of the flower. Um, I began making flowers a couple years ago because it was the middle of winter and I was depressed, you know, seasonal depression or whatever, um, and I found that they made me happy and I wanted to share that with people. My first year doing Craft Lake City was August 2011. I applied for Craft Lake City again because I love the vibe that it gives off. It's a really cool vibe, a lot of really cool um, artists and musicians. You can find a huge variety of sellers, people selling their stuff, um, good people to network with, good people to meet, and I like the people who are shopping there. It's just a cool environment to meet a lot of people, to get your name out there, and the support that I've received personally from Craft Lake City has been great, and I really appreciate the chance to sell my flowers through the Craft Lake City and meet new people. Um, I think it's great for places like West Elm to team up with things like Craft Lake City because it shows that it's important to support our local communities. It's important to build our community and make it what we want to make it and support those who are putting their names out there and doing their best. So Bagsy Blue Co is my shop name. Um, it's named after my dog. His name is actually Bagheera. His nickname is Bagsy and blue is my favorite color. So I have a lot of people ask me, what does your shop name mean? And that's my shop name. It's named after my dog. So he's a lovable little fellow. So. <laughs>Liz Olivares, I'm the general manager at West Elm, and I'm really excited to have, this is our sixth workshop that we've done with Craft Lake City. Um, we've had just amazing events, and I'm really excited because we have the rest of the year all planned out as well. So we will continue to hold monthly workshops with local artists, so check the Craft Lake City page as well as follow us on West Elm SLC on Instagram. We'll be posting all the events, so a lot more exciting ones to look forward to. Tonight we had another fantastic event with Ashley from Bagsy Blue Co. making some really fun fabric flowers. They just look amazing. And what's been great too about these events is it's even spawned um, more things going forward. We're going to continue to promote local or artists in the community by doing more Etsy pop-up shops in the store. So that's something else to look forward to. My name is Paige Hill and I'm the internet marketing manager for Riley Blake Designs Fabric. And we donated the fabric for these lovely flowers today through the Craft Lake City Workshop. Um, I attended the last two, three years of Craft Lake City. So that's how I found out about these workshops. I follow Craft Lake City on Facebook and Twitter and saw the workshops come up on Facebook and was really excited to come and offer fabric for these workshops. I think I love workshops like this because it gives the artist a chance to collaborate with their community and they can see what goes into making the products they sell. So their community gets a chance to make those products and um, actually take something home of the, that artist. So thank you to Craft Lake City for giving me the opportunity to do this workshop as well as West Elm for hosting um, and Riley Blake Designs for donating the fabric and for all the attendees it wouldn't be a workshop without. Thank <laughs> you.